This video I'm installing Windows 10 in a virtual machine using VirtualBox program. I had some requests on how to do this, how to run Windows 10 in a Windows 11 computer using a virtual machine and I'm doing this today. So let's get started. All you need is just two things, a Windows 10 ISO that you can download from the Microsoft website and also you need VirtualBox which is a program that runs virtual machines in your computer. What we are going to do, we are going to download the ISO and run it through the virtual box and what all this does is just runs the windows 10 in a virtual box virtually in our computer without impacting in our base operating system for example i am in windows 11 right now and i will run windows 10 in my computer to download virtual box go to this website you can find the link in the description and click on windows host if you are on windows or uh, os x if you are on a mac then download and install it and here i have the the virtual box i have already installed it and now what we are going to do is to download the windows 10 iso file go again to description and go to this website and you'll find two buttons update now and download toll you have to download the toll click on download toll now then after downloading it click on open then click on yes and this will start to get things ready and then after that you have to choose an option to upgrade another pc not upgrade this pc and then you have to choose the option to create an iso file that you can use to run it on VirtualBox. so click on accept then choose create installation media a usb flash drive dvd or iso file so check this button and click on next then click on next again and you have to check iso file then click on next and this will ask you where you want to save the file and you can save it on the downloads and click on save then after doing that click on next again and then it will start to download the iso of windows 10 into your downloads folder but i already have this downloaded i will start immediately to set up in virtual box i will go to virtual box and uh, set up my windows 10 virtual machine as you can see you have another machine here kali linux which is a linux distribution and if you are also interested on how to do this how to install Kali Linux in a virtual box let me know I'll do another video for that but for now I will create a new virtual machine for Windows 10 so click on new then choose a name I will type just Windows and then choose where you want to save I'll leave this uh, as default then uh, click on Microsoft Windows and then you have to choose Windows 10 uh, 64 bit here is Windows 10 64 bit click on next then choose how much memory you want to use I'll choose uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM or maybe 10 gigabytes okay 10 gigabytes of RAM and click next and you have to leave this create virtual hard disk now then create then click next again then choose dynamically allocated and click next then choose how many gigabytes of the storage you want for this disk I'll choose uh, 20 gigabytes and click on create now you have to select this virtual machine and click on settings then you have to go on the settings one by one so go to the second one the system and here you can allocate or use more memory or ram if you want but if you go to processors i will choose more processors it depends on how many processor your computer have but i will choose five for now because uh, you can run the windows faster you have to go to display make sure it is 128 megabytes then go to storage here you have to click on this empty and then choose the disk, disk file then go to downloads and choose your windows iso file that we downloaded before so double click to select it and everything else is okay so now we can click on okay then what you have to do is to click on start Just click on start to start the virtual machine and click on start again okay now it will start the windows installation so we'll go through this process, we'll wait until this is installed and we'll get back soon. Okay, now choose next, then click on install now. Then click I don't have a product key, then choose uh, which version of Windows you want. But for now, just go with the pro version. So click next then check accept the license term and click next again okay now you have to select the second option and then you have to click next select the drive that we just created and click next again and now the installation will start it will copy the files and install the windows Okay, now the Windows is installed and we have to set up some few things. So now we choose United States and click on yes. Click on yes again if you have the right keyboard. Skip. 
choose setup for personal use and click next then you can put your account if you want but for now I'll click on offline account then choose limited experience and I'll put a name for this just my name and click next and you can choose a password put your password again then choose a security question and answer it Okay, now it started to set up my account that which is an offline account that i want to use for this virtual machine and uh, click on accept and click on skip accept again okay now windows 10 is ready and finished installation and it works similarly just like an, another computer and as you can see i am in windows 11 and i have the also windows 10 here so this is how you can install windows 10 in windows 11 using the virtual machines and using virtual box application there are a lot more applications like their virtual box like vmware or anything else that you can use but virtual box is one of the most popular ones so this is how you guys you can do that and hopefully you like this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like button so see you in the next video peace